and welcome to this week's coffee and card and as you can see this is a pre-recorded one because i'm not available today um but obviously i'm not not i'm not going to let you down we're on um i think it's week 77 of coffee and card week 77 can you believe it um so we're going to make card number four and i gave you a brief sneak peek last tuesday so let's crack on oops i did rip the bag this week oh man i forgot about all the sequins yes be very careful when you open your bag because there are a few sequins in there and um, there could be a nice little surprise so mine are now on my desk yeah so just a little warning i've got some in the bag there um okay that should be enough actually i do get loads i'm going to show you um <laughs> pesky little sequins right oops <laughs> okay right so in your kit you have the fresh freezer card base with a sequin inside you have a die a punched shape the everyday label you've got a snowflake and the sequins now i'm going to pop that out of here these are great they come in a pack of i think 24. okay so the plain not shimmery on one side and then shimmery on the other or iridescent is a bit more of a posher word. Lots of cutting out today. Um, but first I'm going to grab my papers. And show you which paper that I'm going to use. And the one I'm going to use is the one with... Um, it's green, but then it's got the fresh freezer snowflakes on the back. Now, this is one that I cut down to cut the strips from. And it's going to be perfect for this because I've still got plenty left. And we are going to cut it to fit the whole front of the card. So we're going to cut it at 10.5 centimetres by 14.8. Okay. And that is going to glue onto the front of the card and form the background of the card. I hope you're all well this morning. Just to say today is the very, very last day and I'm hoped to have had them in by now. Um, and I'm a bit worried about getting them in time for booking on the next round of Coffee and Card, which starts on the 5th of October. Um, I'm still happy to take bookings, but um, with shipping and everything, I can't always guarantee how quick things are going to get to me. So I am going to cut out one of these big um, polar bears that's dancing. I'm going to cut this penguin out. Yep. And then, so that's from there. And then I'm going to cut out this, this penguin from here. Yep. And then I'm going to cut out sort of one of the waving polar bears from this piece here. Now, what you could do, yeah, we'll cut one of these out. So I've, there is a lot of cutting out with this one. I'm going to need this one as well, don't I? 
Now, please don't think that you can't use that one because what you can do is cut it out and have it like pop, popping out of the corner in the inside of the card like that, waving. So please don't think that they're, um, you know, going to go to waste. There we go, I've got one polar bear so far. As I say, lots of cutting out for this card. Apologies for last Tuesday's coffee and card. It ended rather abruptly because I got a phone call from a company um, who were phoning me back um, and it interrupted the stream. And I'm a little bit cross because um, I said to the lady when I left a message on the Monday asking them to give me a call back, I said, please, could you specify that they don't call me between 10.30 and 11.30? Because obviously I knew I was doing my uh, live and it and the phone calls interrupt the live feed. And they called me back just before 11. Not only once, but twice. So that's why the broadcast ended uh, so abruptly last Tuesday. So apologies for that. But I was a little bit frustrated that, you know, why people can't follow instructions, I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, Nearly there, three out of four done. go right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the snowflake up there and then I'm just going to pop the um they look like dancing animals and I'm going to have this one sort of coming up there and I'll, I'll snip that off there now I have used a larger greeting on this because the season's greeting with the best will in the world is very small to pop on there
So I've just been to grab this stamp set and I'm going to use the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. This is a Christmas to remember stamp set. And I'm going to use basic grey with it. Any medium sized stamp will be great in here. It's a bit skew if, but never mind. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop that on there like that. But what I'll do is I'll glue the top half of him on and, and cut the rest off. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to take off the snowflake. Now, they're quite delicate and you might be able to pop a little bit of glue on the ends. Oops. There we go. Pop that one there like that. And then the polar. And the penguins sort of going to go overlap it a little bit there. Okay, so what with this one, I'm going to hold. I thought I'd have him on a bit of an angle there. Let's see how that's going to fit there. And then turn it over like that. And then just trim that off. Yep. There's a little bit I just want to trim off. And then I'm going to pop this up on some foam pads and some dimensionals. Aside from the cutting out, it is um, quite a quick card this one this week. And that's going to go there like that. Now. We've got the tricky part of popping the sequins on. You've probably got more than you need. Some are bigger than others. Some are sparklier than others. So I'm going to pop some glue on my project because you can't put glue on the back of these sequins. And then I'm going to try and grab them with the ends of my scissors. In fact, let me use my really old scissors and pop them there like that. So, do as many as you want to. We usually say work in odd numbers. So, I'd say to do five. But it's up to you. I think I put that the wrong I put that one on the wrong way. Oh, I thought that was a foam pad back then. So I've got one, two, three. Do you know, I might even put them all on. <laughs> got five now. Oops. I 
I might put some of the tiny ones on. So I'm going to put one there. Let's try and get a tiny one on. Oh man, that's a that's an effort. And then maybe one here. A teeny tiny. There we go. So I've got seven on there. Now you might think, oh, which are these sequins in the catalogue? And they are called subtle shimmer sequins. Now, let me find my catalogue. And show you where they are. They're actually in the Peaceful Cabin Suite, Peaceful Place Suite. They're on page 37, and they're there, number four, that you get a real close up. And apparently there's 800 sequins in here. And let me just tell you, this was a brand new one. And look at all those ones that's left. But I have done these cards for a demonstrator day and I made 33 packs. So 33 card kits. And then I've done 18 card kits for coffee and card. So that's over 50, 51 card kits with the sequins in. And there's still all those left. So, yeah. They last ages. Um... So I hope you like today's card, today's make. And don't forget to book on next round. Um, very, very last day today. And um, if there's any problems with your booking on my site, just drop me a message. But thank you for watching. And I will be back live next Tuesday. And I will see you then. Thanks for watching.